Elsa, hello, and welcome to an idea that hit me, honestly, a couple weeks ago. And what it was, was I was talking with some friends who had never played World of Warcraft before. And they, they started up their trial accounts, and I didn't realize that you have to start in the new starting zone if you've never played before. And doing that, you don't get to see all of the, the lore and everything in the other starting zones. So I figured what I was going to do is we are going to make a hunter, because that is the one class that is available to every single race. And I'm just going to do a series. We're going to go through every starting zone for the original races. Don't know if we're going to do allied races because I don't actually have all of them unlocked yet. I've got a lot of them, but not all of them. But we'll see once we get through all of the original races. We're going to start with the alliance. We are going to make um, females because that's usually what I play. So yeah, I will come back as soon as I have her made. All right, so here I have her. I legitimately just randomized everything about her appearance and everything. I did not make her anything special. I did not even pick a name because I'm making her on Moonguard where almost all of the good names are taken. So I just hit randomize and it actually accepted it. So. Let's begin. Let's enter the world. Really, really long loading screen this time, too. Sorry about that. Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin, the proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While success in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. All right, well, we won't worry about that right now. But yeah, as you can see, that is our basic lore. Hopefully I won't regret doing this on Moonguard, but let's go through these quests and see if we can finish everything in the starting zone in a timely manner. King's honor, friend. All right, so you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshal McBride, commander of the garrison. Glad to have you on board. Phil, er... Prillamory, right? Well, you've arrived just in time. The Blackrock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing the best that they can to push them back, but they're going to be overwhelmed soon. Head northwest into the forest and kill the Blackrock Wargs. All right. So we got to go kill eight puppy dogs. It's almost depressing, but it's all right. Come on, you can do it. Hopefully we won't die. Ah, oh, hate steady shot. I also did not enable auto loot, which I will do before we do the next thing. Oops, that was an that was an orc, not a wolf. My bad. I'm 
many more. Alright, we can do it. Two more wolves. Now, definitely, this is a very different character from my monk, who has never killed anything. But, you know what? That's alright. Alright, here we go. We have completed our very first quest. I feel like there should be a, a magical noise going. Well met. And he says, you bought us a little time, but we have bigger problems to deal with. And we got loot! And we leveled up! Yay! We have to kill some Black Rock Spies. Bless you. We can probably do that. Let's open up our bag, put on our spiffy new belt, and also let's enable some auto loot. Options. Definitely enable auto loot because looting is a pain in the rear. All right, now we're gonna go find some spies. How many do we have to kill? Eight. They do like the number eight, don't they? Oh, he's been eating grapes. I want some grapes. I also really would like um, a hunting pet, but don't have one of those yet. Thankfully, in the starter zones, most of the time, there's really nothing that's going to actually kill you. Or at least nothing that's going to be hostile to you. Because the whole idea is to get out of there as quickly as you can, honestly. Three more. Oh man, we are one-shotting these bad boys. Nice. One more. And we took him out. Awesome. Alright, so that is two quests down. And only seven minutes in. It is very pretty here. We'll have to go in and check out the cathedral and stuff here in a minute. Although that's not really the focus of this. This is more to give you the starter zone experience. Yay, we got some gloves and we leveled up again. Okay, he says he's received an urgent message from Sergeant Wilhelm. Turns out the orcs have hired goblin assassins. Oh no! Alright, well we will definitely report to Sergeant Wilhelm behind Northshire Abbey. But first, let's sell some stuff. Because we only have just, I think, just the one bag. There we go. Now, Back when I first started WoW, there there was no nice quest markers all over the mini-map. So that is one quality of life change I love. Alright, we were ambushed. He doesn't dare send any more soldiers, so he needs us. We have to kill eight goblin assassins and see what this priest wants. Have you embraced the holy light yet, sister? No, no I haven't. But it is through the holy light that we are saved. All right. Uh, he wants us to revive some soldiers. So we need to revive some soldiers and kill some assassins. We will start. This would be so much easier if we had a pet. Don't tell me I can't attack that target. I can attack that target if I want to attack that target. Take out that one. Nice. And then maybe we'll revive this guy. Hello! Little holy light on you. There you go. What else did we get? Wing clip. Eh, I'm not too worried about that. Revive and loot. Let's 
Oops. I probably shouldn't turn my back on, on the enemy. I think the worst part about the starter zones and nothing really being hostile is once you are out of the starter zones, oh my gosh, reality hits you upside the head very quickly. But in telling you, it's kind of awesome to not actually have to worry about anything. Would you actually shoot him? Thank you. Alright, we're gonna heal a couple more. How many more do we have to- oh! We don't actually have to heal anyone else. That's what happens when, even though I'm reading the quests, I'm not reading the quest objectives. Good job, me. Alright, we definitely understand the power of the light. I don't know if it gives power or hope, but you know what? Thanks for the brace up, dude. And another level. It is Hello. definitely easier to level now. Oh, and a belt. belt. So, alright. He says that'll teach those monsters. They'll think twice. Have a good one. Thanks for the belt, dude. Alright, he says, excellent work. The rear is clear. We're going to take care of the stragglers. We're going to go back to Marshal McBride, who is in front of Northshire Abbey, and let him know that everything is under control. Oh, everything feels so slow. It's been a long time since I actually went through the human starter zone and actually read the quests. That's one of my, my failings. I love questing, but you get to a point where you start just doing everything by rote and you're not reading anymore. And a lot of times the quests are hilarious. All right, with your help, we have managed to secure the northern and western sectors of Northshire. We still have a large contingent of Black Rock Orcs to the east and they've started burning down the forest. For the Alliance. It's terrible. All right, they've been burning down the forest, taking over the vineyard. They are planning their final assault and must be stopped. We have to head east across the river and kill the Black Rock Orcs. Collect their weapons and uh, we are his only hope. Be careful. And this lady has a quest as well. You need something? Times like these make me long for when the Defias were still around. The Cataclysm has opened a path from the Burning Steps and now Blackrock Orcs are pouring into North Shore Valley. They've taken over my vineyard and they are burning it to the ground. To the ground! Please, the vineyard is all I have. Take my fire extinguisher and extinguish the flames. Alright, we can totally Safe do that. Travels. Well, off we go. And as you can see, I almost turned around the wrong way. But there is that handy-dandy little arrow that tells you which way to go. Which, yeah, actually, that is handy. Also, we have a nice little graveyard here. You used to actually have to do a lot more training back in the day for your class and things. But, not so much anymore. The game has gotten easier, but still just as much fun to me. Now, as you can tell, when you start in here, these guys are no longer easy to kill, but that's all right. Also, I don't know what this guy is doing. Oh, he, he wants to RP. Hang on. All right. Back to it. Sorry about that. Just had to kind of tell that person that I wasn't actually here for RP. I was actually here to just do this video. Most everybody that you meet in WoW is honestly really, really nice. So that is always a good thing. We do need to put out some of these fires though, don't we? How do we put out these fires? Ah, we actually have to be closer to a fire that needs to be put out. Here, I thought that one did. Come on, put out the fire. 
can we find it? I'm sure I can find it. I'm gonna figure this out. Give me a second. All right, I see what I was doing wrong. There we go. Back to extinguishing the fires. Just have to click on it actually in my inventory, not on the symbol. Again, what happens when you don't actually read? But we're getting there. Oh, he's going to eat me. I don't think so. There we go. Although that did actually injure us a little bit. Just have to put out a couple more fires. And then I think we will be good. I'm so used to clicking on it up there. That's all. One more, I think. Nope, one more fire after that. Let's put out this fire so we don't have to fight while we're putting out fires. Yay! We did it. So proud of us. Oh, so, like I said, this is one of those things that kind of hit my my brain mostly because my friends who I, I started playing with recently couldn't actually do these starter zones which is almost not fair although the new starter zone is fun and I have been through it oh look at that we got all sorts of cool stuff what can we do here? We've got Steady Shot, we've got the Wing Clip, we've got Disengage, Beast Lore, and we can go and tame a pet. Which is pretty dang what awesome. What can I do for you? Life bless you. Go with honor, He's, Oh, we got a new quest. Ending the invasion. The rampaging orc horde is led by a savage beast known as Kurtok the Slayer. He is responsible for the invasion and must be killed if we are to have peace in the valley. We need to go east, across the river, through the vineyard, and look for the passage leading to the mountains. He will be there. Kill him. And return. For the Alliance. I think we're going to try to actually tame a pet before we do that. So, let's see if maybe we can, maybe we can tame him. Let's revive pet. Let this miss pet. Where is Tay? There it is. We'll be like, love me, puppy. Love me. Love me. Do you love me? Of course you do. All right. So we have tamed our very first hunter pet, and now with his help and our new equipment, which we will put on our cloak, and we are definitely putting on those new pants. Gotta love new equipment. Trust me, I do. We are going to go and kill this orc. And then I think we'll actually be done with this starter zone. It doesn't really take too long to go through it. I feel like there used to be more quests. Maybe there still are. We'll find out. But us and Wolf are going to go and take out this orc. Which is kind of ironic when you think that by the end of this, I will be playing as an orc, at least for one or two of these, uh, well, definitely one of these. All right, there he is. So, let's see if we can get in range. All right, we're going to do that. Maybe we'll even do a little wing clip. <laughs> Fight him, wolf. Alright. Didn't take too much, did it? 
but he says that the Blackrock clan will end me. I don't think that they will. I also do like the fact that we have hit level 5 already. I used to try and make sure that I was level 10 before I hit, left the starter zone, but it's really not that hard to at least get your first 10 or 15 levels, so I, I don't fuss about it too much. And little Prilla Marie here will not actually be a character I'm going to be continuing on with, so our next one will probably be a uh, dwarf next time. Alright. Turn it in and see what's going on. He says, with Kurtok slain, we are safe once again from the Orcish Hordes. I will send peasants to the past in an attempt to seal the passage. You have the thanks of Stormwind and of the Alliance, hero. We're going to take that crossbow. And he says to report to Goldshire, which we are not going to do because especially on this realm, that is a dangerous proposition. <laughs> so, but we'll just go ahead and accept that and say we are dismissed. Thank you so much, Marshall McBride, and we will see you again sometime in the future. And with that, that is the Human Starter Zone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am not looking at the camera because the camera is there and I used to be over there. But thank you so much. Um, next time we get together, we will be making a female dwarf hunter so that we can see what the dwarf starter zone is like. And uh, that'll probably be in a day or two. I'm going to try and get through all of these so that everybody who maybe is thinking about playing World of Warcraft can, you know, maybe pick a race that they really like. Something that they resonate with. So until next time, thank you, and I will talk to you later.